Hello everyone, this is a full beginner's guide on the game Northwind on Roblox. So whenever you start the game, you'll see choose your role. So that's what I'm going to press. Now you have three roles, the colonist, the native and the St. Lawrence company. Now for this one, you need to be a member of the St. Lawrence company group, which I, I'm assuming most of you are not, so skip this one. Now for the native, this role is not yet enabled for non-early access players, so skip this one too. And then we have the colonist. Everyone is the colonist, so I'll click on it. And we can create our character. So you can press randomize to um, get another type of character, right? So when I press randomize, randomize, and you, you can just get any of these characters. Just pick which one you like. I'm just going to pick this one. And now you have to choose a trait. I'm just going to pick adventurous. And when you finish your character, just hold F. You need four hours play time for the next um, island. So I'm just going to go right here because this is a beginner's guide. We've spawned into the game, right? And our character looks pretty nice. Now, on the right side of your screen, you will see the mission you have and where you need to go. So it says woodcutting guide. So we're going to do the woodcutting guide. Now, I just want to note one thing. If you want to go into your inventory, you press J. And now you can see I have 20 pounds. I have bandages, a torch, a map, a brown tricon, tricorn. And you can see all of these things you have, right? Press J again and your menu will close. Now, in order to run, you have to press shift. You have to hold shift in and now you run. You can also see this stamina bar, this blue stamina bar. And you also have this warmth bar. Your warmth needs to be above 50, I, I guess. Like you, you need to be warm. If you're not warm, your health will go down. All right, so let's start the wood cutting. You have to follow, like you can see a green dot right, right above, right here on the upper side of the screen. So I'm just gonna go where the green dot guides me right now. So it is this building right at the beginning. You have this building and you just have to go inside of that building. Right here, just go inside of this building and you will see this guy, Lucas Reynaud. And I'm going to talk to him. And I'm going to ask him, do you have any work for me? I have some contracts. So he, he's telling me to harvest this pine log, which I'm going to take. Right? So back. But first, before you actually do that, you have to take, uh, you have to buy an axe. Right? So I'm just going to buy this axe from him for five pounds. And now it says equip the axe. So in order to equip the axe, you just press, um, you press G. And you equip the axe right here. You can press F. Now the axe is equipped. Now if I press one, you'll see that I just took out my axe, right? And we're going to cut some pine trees. Now, to find these pine trees, it's really, really easy. It's just one of these trees right here, right? Now, I can just pick this up right now. And I can already go back to him. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut the trees for now. Because I need some experience. Now, click your left mouse button and hold it in. Once you hold it in, he just cuts down the tree. And now come up to the big log. And I just keep cutting it. There you go. I got 35 plus 35 wood cutting experience. Now we have to complete the contract and we have to go back to this guy. My warmth is plus 30. I don't, to be honest, like let's just finish the contract. Do you have any work for me? And let's see. Give them the pine logs. All right. And now increase your wood cutting. So I'm going to cut some more wood. We need a little bit more experience. And then we can move on to the next phase. You only have to cut down a couple trees. And there you go. 
we can cut some different types of wood now on the top of the screen when you press on professions you see that my wood cutting is now at novice you also have hunting fishing mining woodworking cooking farming leatherwork and smithing we're gonna do the hunting you see that rabbit over there and we're gonna catch that finally the game is really buggy but it finally gave me the hunting guide purchase a knife all right so we're gonna purchase a knife now and you see this fountain area you just go up in this place right here you go in and you talk to this guy hello there and i'd like to browse your inventory and we buy a knife for five pounds there you go okay now we have a knife and it says purchase a hunting bow so i'd like to browse your inventory again and then we buy a hunting bow for two pounds now we also have to buy some arrows so that's what i'm gonna do let's just buy four of these and i think this will do all right now it says equip the knife so i'm just gonna go here and i'm gonna equip the knife and there you go now, now the knife is equipped now equip the bow so we're gonna equip the bow now hunting bow equip and if you press tap you can see what you have equipped and you can just give it a number so i'm gonna give this the number two right so now my bow is on number two and my knife is on number one so if i equip my bow i just press number two and here you have it i just equipped my bow now it says hunt down a rabbit so i'm going to show you how to hunt down a rabbit yeah and you got to use your hunting bow to hunt down the rabbit now the, the game is sometimes a little bit bugged that's okay just server hop and it will be okay all right you have to search a rabbit in in these open fields this these open areas right here okay i think i see a rabbit right there okay i see the rabbit now in order to aim you press right mouse button all right and and i think i got him yeah i got the rabbit now I take my knife i press one and i'm skinning the rabbit right now all right i'm taking the rabbit meat so now i have the rabbit meat gray rabbit pelt also take that and i'm also seeing a wood arrow and another rabbit meat all right so from one of those rabbits, you get like two rabbit meats and a rabbit pelt. Uh, yep, I have two rabbit meats and this is exactly what we needed. Now let's return to the village and let's go and complete the contract. So we go back to Francis and talk. Do you have any work for me? and we search the rabbit meat we give him two rabbit meats making uh, i'm gonna eat this apple right now and my belly full just went up yeah, because you know you have to keep eating all right it's kind of dark right now when it gets dark you can just get your torch right and you can just light up your torch and now you can see okay novice hunter it is completed all right now i'm gonna take the fox meat yeah i'm just gonna take the fox meat right now and there we go now we gotta hunt down a fox all right i see a fox i see someone's trying to shoot the fox i need this fox there's no way come back all right i shot the fox once he's not dead yet i shot him twice i'm skinning the fox right now okay i got this guy took all of my meat 
Oh, okay, I see a fox. I see a fox. I see a fox. I don't know why it's running that that far. I mean, look how far it's running. Man, this thing just keeps going, dude. All right, I didn't take the meat, probably. Oh, no, I took the meat. All right, return to Francis. And do you have any work for me? And let's give him the fox meat. All right, so we gave him the fox meat. All right, so he's going to keep saying uh, that I need to complete the contract. And it depends on what trait you have chosen and what contracts you need to take and what professions you need to upgrade. Like you can upgrade all the way to the smithing and leather work and farming, right? But this is like a simple beginner's guide on how the game actually works. And it, it works like this. So you, you, you come into the game and it kind of tells you what to do and where to go. I hope I've informed you well enough so you understand how to play the game. That was all for this video. Like and subscribe and uh, visit the channel. I got a lot more videos. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.